School Freeware's QBasic Tutorial Series, Tutorial 6, User Input. All code can be downloaded at schoolfreeware.com, and this tutorial will use QB64 running on Windows 7. First, what I'd like to do is ask the user to enter in their first and last name, so I'm going to need two variables, one called first name and one called last name. So I'll declare first name as a string, and declare last name as a string. I'll then clear the screen and I'll get the user input by using the command input. Then I'll prompt the user to enter first name. I'll put in a comma and then the variable first name. So next I need to input enter last name comma, and then last name. I'll go ahead and print a line of nothing and print the output. Nice to meet you. A semicolon as a separator. First name, semicolon as a separator, and then a space within two quotation marks. Semicolon, last name. Okay, I'll go ahead and run. Enter first name, school. Enter last name, freeware. Nice to meet you, school freeware. If I were to change these commas to a semicolon and run again, I will find that there's a question mark here. And going way back into early computer history, programmers had the computer ask the user a question. So instead of having enter first name, the computer will ask, what is your first name? And this is where we get the question mark for the end of the question. This is not normally used anymore, but it'll still work. I'll go ahead and change the semicolons back to commas. And now what I'd like to do is modify this program to ask the user to enter in two numbers so that way I can add them together. So I'm going to need to declare two number variables, dim num1 as an integer, I'll use integers here, and dim num2 as an integer. Okay, I'm gonna print a line of nothing as a spacer and get the input from the user prompting the user to enter first integer, comma, num1, input, enter, second, integer, comma, num2. I'll print a line of nothing and print the output as num1, semicolon, then within quotation, plus, semicolon, num2 semicolon then within quotation equal semicolon and now the calculation num1 plus num2 so if the user enters in 10 as the first number and 20 as the second number we'll get 10 plus 20 equals and then the calculation 10 plus 20 which would be 30. so go ahead and run enter first name school freeware first integer 10 Second integer, 20. 10 plus 20 equals 30. 